guys welcome to our channel uniquely blessed if you're new welcome to our youtube family make sure you like subscribe and comment so you don't miss anything i upload and if you're already a subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in and we're gonna get right into our discussion for today <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about how to entertain a zero to three month old baby. My daughter's like a week from turning three months, so I decided to upload this video to just show you guys the activities that I use to engage, play with her, and entertain her. So we're going to get right into it. If you see me looking down, I got my little notebook because um, I don't want to miss out anything for you guys. So I'm going to be telling you everything that I wrote down, and I'm going to be showing y'all some videos on what I did and everything. Oh, the first way that I use to entertain her is her rattle. Now, this is a rattle that I have for her currently. I do have another rattle, but this is the one we use. What I do is I take her little hand, and I grip it onto the rattle, and she starts to shake the rattle. Now, a lot of times, she will throw this rattle down. But I try twice a day just putting it in her hands for about five minutes to see if she'll shake it. I used to use like a teether, but the teether ring was kind of too big and she would just drop it. So I noticed with the rattle, with it making the sound, she likes to shake it. So I just do it for five minutes, twice a day. I just put it in her hand and she drops it. I put it back in her hand and it helps, you know, just entertain her. She shakes it a little bit and she drops it. But it's just a little way to have a little fun with her. So I recommend just getting some type of toy or rattle they can hold or grip. What you doing, Anna Pooh? Say I got my rattle and I shake my rattle. You shake your rattle, Nana Pooh. Go ahead with your bad soul. See, I'm shaking my rattle. Ooh, you dropped it. Another activity that I do several times a day is tummy time. Tummy time is very important because it helps with your child's motor skills and it helps strengthen their neck and their back muscles. So Shania has started tummy time a couple days since she came from the hospital. I started with one minute and then I started increasing the minutes that she does it. Um, when she's crying or too fussy, I take her off of her tummy, but I get down there with her sometimes. And sometimes I don't get down there with her. I just let her do it by herself. And I just engage with her. I talk with her and try to get her to lift up her neck. So I really recommend to do tummy time several times a day with your baby. It's really good. Taking and moving her hands. How many more seconds she got left? Okay. Oh, wow. You end up turning over anyway. Another way I like to entertain her is doing something called mommy's house tour. And all that is is just changing the scenery and going on a tour with her within my house. So what I do is I take her from one room into a next room for about 30 minutes to an hour. And I give her a little tour of the room. So for example, I'm in her room right now, which she's not really in barely. She's barely in her room. And I come in here and I'd be like, this is Shania's room. And I say, this is a blanket. This is a crib. This is a boppy. And I just go around with her to different parts of her room and name the items that are in her room. And her eyes start to wander all around. And she seemed engaged. Sometimes she laughs a little bit. Sometimes she smiles a little bit. So I try to do that, you know, once or twice a week, just go into a different part of my house. Or you can even go outside your backyard or your front porch and just, you know, give them a little tour. Just change up the scenery so they're not in the same. My bad. I had to take care of baby girl right quick, but let's get right back into it. Another way I entertain her is by singing to her. So I've been singing to Shania since she was in the womb. But when she, you know, got out the womb and she was like five weeks, I started doing interactive singing with her. And all that is is just singing songs where I'm moving my hands or moving my feet. Or like, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now I'm literally doing this with her. And I'm singing and I'm clapping in front of her face to see if her eyes are moving, if it's blinking, if she seems engaged. Sometimes she smiles, sometimes she cries. I stopped singing when she's crying, but 
you know um i just do a lot of singing to her so she can get familiar with my voice and you know that she can love singing one day hopefully so try to sing to your baby it's fun it's cute and you can sing a lot of different songs in a lot of different tones you know your baby they'll love it also talking to your baby is another way that you can engage with them my daughter has started uh, cooing and back to me. <laughs> See, though, she's trying to talk back to me, which is so cute. And I just love it. So talk to your baby and, you know, they'll talk to you back sometimes in their particular way, their particular form. But just continually talk to them so they can get familiarized with your voice and they can just engage with you. Mama? <laughs> Mama? Mama? Hi! 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 <laughs> Another activity I do with Trinaya is the boppy. I use this once a day. Because <laughs> she gets a little annoyed with me sometimes when I use this. So what I do is I literally just place her onto the boppy and she tries to get out of the boppy. It's like she's crawling, but I know newborns are not supposed to crawl that early, but she always tries to escape the boppy. I just put her over the boppy and she starts to kick her little legs out of it. Literally just lay her over here and she's kicking herself out of the boppy. So I only do it once a day because she starts to cry um, and, you know, when she starts to cry a lot, I just change activities. Shania. <laughs> Another way you can play with your baby, or really more so engage, because they're really playing with themselves, is the play mat. So this is Shania's play mat. She uses this at least four times a day. I put her on here on her back and also on her tummy. And she just kicks these little buttons and she plays with the little things up above. And, you know, she gets really excited. The longest I've seen her stay in her play mat is 20 minutes which is really good because I end up getting a lot done within those 20 minutes. And she just really enjoys herself. So I would just recommend some type of play mat where they can, that has something hanging down so that they can just play with it and enjoy themselves. So another form of entertainment you can do with your baby is with this little plush blanket. I don't know what these are called. You guys comment below and let me know what these are called. But what I do with these little things is I literally just take them and drag it across Renaya's face. And she's like opening her mouth. She's so alert. Sometimes she smiles and it's just so cute. And I just use these and I also use a blanket. So you don't necessarily have to use these. But I find she likes these because of the little elephant face. And I have another one that's a bunny face. So I think she likes it. But I've also used a blanket. And I've used uh, actually her pants too. I've used her pants. I just glide it across her face. And she's doing these emotions. So, you know, gets you something. I don't know if it's like peekaboo to them. Like, oh, I can see. No, I can't see. You know, or something just gliding across their face. But Shania really likes this and she's really entertained by it. So I would just advise trying this particular activity with your newborn and see if they like it. I started doing it with her around six weeks. So, you know, give it a try. They might like it. They might not like it. But you will know. Nine about Hi. 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 He's trying to eat at nine o'clock. Hi. Ready? Hi. Yeah. Ah. yeah. The way you can entertain your baby is face to face and mirrors. 
So I do a lot of face-to-face -face with Shania. I get up right close, up in her face, talking to her, looking at her, singing to her. I don't be putting my whole breath in her face. But, you know, I mean, I just be look close to her. Even when I'm breastfeeding her, she's right here and I'm talking to her face-to-face. -face. Or when we're laying in bed, I lay right on the side with her and I'm engaging with her face-to-face. So she can get familiarized with my face, with my voice, and just seeing different expressions that I make. So I make a lot of different expressions with her. Like I love to stick out my tongue. Now she likes to stick out her tongue. So her dad doesn't like it because now she's always sticking out her tongue. But just doing different facial expressions. Sometimes she laughs. Sometimes she don't laugh. Sometimes she cries. So just do a lot of face-to-face -face with your baby. And also with face-to-face, -face, I use the mirror. I have mirrors around my house where she just looks at herself in the mirror. It's mirrors on her play gym where she just looks at herself, just getting to know that this is you. So I do say like, this is mommy. This is Shania. This is mommy. This is Shania. So when she's in the mirror, I kind of do that. And I point it at her little chest like, Shania, mommy. Shania, mommy. So I would advise if you have a mirror, you know, just get a mirror. Put your baby in front of the mirror and let them play. 13, I said love 14, makes 15, little things. 16, grow. 17, 18, 19, 20. That's stuck on me. Another activity that we do all the time is reading. Reading is very, very important. You want your child to grow up reading. So with Shania, we read at least twice a day. Now, they say when newborns are born, their vision is very poor. and They can only see black, white, gray, sometimes red. Um, but I don't really find that those black and white books work for me. So this is the book that I was reading to her because it had some black and white in it, but it also had color. I noticed with this particular book, she was more engaged with these pages than she was the black and white. I don't know. She didn't really look up when I was reading the black and white, but when I turned to the colorful pages, she was more engaged. So I just read this book often because it has color and it has black and white. So in the beginning, because of the black and white, I read this, but as time went on, weeks went on as she grew, I was reading her more colorful books, but you can choose to read your child, any book that you want to read them really. But I just recommend a good way to engage with them is reading. So try reading with the baby. So you guys, this is the way I entertain, I play, and I engage with my zero to three month old baby. If you guys have any other ways, please let me know in the comments below or any other things I can do to play, engage, entertain them. Let me know. I'm going to link all the items that I have here down below in the description box. And I also want you guys to check out my Facebook group. It's for mamas only, sorry dads, but it's for mamas only and we do giveaways every month and we have a lot of support and engagement there as well. So I hope you guys have a lovely day and stay tuned for my next video.